Look at this amazing scripture. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23. And make the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So according to this scripture, the order for your life to be served is spirit, soul, and body. So it's very important that your life hinge on this very particular order. If we want God's cooperation, the biblical order for our lives to be served is spirit, soul, and then body. That means if you want to get married, the order is spirit first and then soul and then body. We don't do the Hollywood way. We don't do body and then soul and then try to get into the spirit. It is spirit, soul and body. So the Bible explains whatever life is in your spirit will flow to your soul and then to your body. This is the only order that your life can receive complete health, wealth, and well-being. So whatever is allowed at the top of this chain will affect your life dramatically. If your body comes first, your doctors will be your first point of contact. They will be your deliverer. They will be your savior. But if you've confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it should be spirit and then soul and then body. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. The Bible said, Jesus said, the flesh profits nothing. The words which he spoke, they were spirit and life. So it is spirit, soul and then body. Even our soul shouldn't come first. That's when our mind, will, and emotions become important. That's part of our soul. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. That's the scripture for today.